Welcome to Out of the Rough, I'm Fred Arnold. In today's show, we're gonna highlight opportunities and solutions to help get you out of the rough and into success, both personally and professionally. In these challenging economic times, I wanna provide you practical solutions to many of today's challenges. And I'm Jerry, joined by uh, Sherry Fink. Sherry Fink is an inspirational, best-selling author. Welcome back to the show. Thank you, it's a pleasure um, to be here. You are the creator of the whimsical world of Sherry Fink. You have a new book coming out we're gonna talk about. Well, you're really well accomplished, but just briefly, tell me in 30 seconds, you were in corporate America, you came up with an inspiration to write your first book. Tell me about that. Yes, I was in corporate America for over 12 years, doing something I was very good at, but I didn't love. Mm -hmm. And during that time, I had a gift of adversity and was inspired to write my first book, The Little Rose. And at the time, I didn't realize it was a children's book. I didn't know what it was, mm -hmm. but I followed the inspiration and I every day would take action and I just had this dream to help kids with their self-esteem and, and that passion aligned and um, and I published it and it became a number one bestseller and it changed my life. That's great. And <laughs> we're going to talk about self-esteem when it comes to your new book, um, Cake in Bed. But but then your next book, The Little Gnome. Yes, The Little Gnome. He His experience is um, of the seasons for the first time. So he has to learn to look for the good and change even when he doesn't know what's wow. going Some on. Some people don't like change. Yeah, most people don't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's all about change. It's all about bettering yourself. And then the little seahorse. The little seahorse is very bashful. So he has to learn to speak up and mm -hmm. ask for help and make new friends in order to achieve a goal. Yeah, get out there. Get yes. out of your comfort zone. That's right. And the little firefly. The little firefly is a late bloomer and she fakes glowing in hilarious ways, and when they find out that she's not glowing yet, like everybody else, she learns about true friendship. Yeah, lessons in life. Yes. Which led you to Cake and Bed. Yes. Now, I find that an interesting <laughs> name, so what is Cake and Bed? Well, Cake and Bed is a code phrase for absolute bliss, and it's about achieving what you really want in life and love, and not settling for less than you deserve. And let's talk about the inspiration behind it, because you're here you went from children's books to more of an uh, adult book, if mm -hmm. you will, um, a grown-up book on inspiration and, and being brave. So it took you some courage to go from here to there. It takes a lot of courage, yeah. yes. But yeah. I feel so inspired to write it. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm destined to publish this book. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Well, you absolutely are. <laughs> let's talk about life abundance. Okay. Because I know you address that in the book. Yes. I want to talk about something that getting out of your comfort zone. Yeah. Yes. Your, your thoughts towards getting out of your comfort zone, because you had to on this book. Yes. I'm out of my comfort zone every single day, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's wonderful. It's, I feel the most alive I've ever felt, mm -hmm. and I feel like when you do that, you feel in love with life, and you discover, wow, I'm braver than I thought, or mm -hmm. you know, people are more amazing than I ever imagined. Mm -hmm. yeah. what, what message do you have to those out there that are just doing the same old, same old? Mm. and not breaking through their greatness or their genius that they really are. I would say that it's okay where you are now, but just to take a look at what is moving you. What, what do you feel passionate about? Mm -hmm. Like for me, like I had the seed of this idea for the little rose, and if I had not done anything with that, my life would never be where it is today. Yeah. And everybody has that little story tucked in a drawer or that, that secret idea that they've never shared with anybody that's deep in their heart or you know, buried somewhere that they could unearth and show the light of day and mm -hmm. take brave action every single day and you never know what's gonna unfold for yeah, that. Yeah, you don't. And I wanna um, ask you about another thought you have and that is towards gratitude. Yes, gratitude is so important. Like I think every day if you wake up and you feel grateful to be alive, and you, want, you wake up with passion that you're gonna to get to do something exciting. Maybe you have to do boring things like laundry or take kids to school or something too. But if you can make that fun in a way because you know you're gonna to get to do something toward your dream mm -hmm. and then you go to bed feeling fulfilled and grateful, I think that's the best way to live your life. Do adults sometimes that you find in, in, in your travels, do you find that they sometimes forget to dream big? or they struggle with that a little bit because they've been told most of their life that maybe they can't attain it or they can't do that. I, I, you know, I know later I've got um, a good friend of mine on in the fitness world and uh, sometimes they don't believe they can be beautiful in the body they have, for example. Yeah. You know, your thoughts towards, towards the limiting way we look at ourselves. I think it's human nature. I mean, even me and my message is dream big. Like my friends sometimes will help me out. I'll, I'll talk to them, I'm freaking out about something. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know if I can do it. And they're like, mm -hmm. 
are you serious? Like, you are the big dreamer. Like, you, you are a both and person, not an either or. And I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Mm. So I think having a support network around you that mm. reminds you of what you're capable of and, and helps you take like whatever that dream that feels super scary, like helps you take it to that next level mm -hmm. is so important because mm. we do forget to dream big sometimes. And we do, don't we? Yes. We do, don't we? What, what message, what ultimate message, what action do you want those to take once they read your book? I want people to have fun reading it, always, no matter what genre it is. Mm -hmm. Have fun, discover something special about themselves that maybe they had forgotten or never realized before. And to believe in themselves and their own possibilities. Yeah. To take their lives to the next level and say, you know what, if it's possible for them, it's possible for me. Yeah, believe in yourself. That's right. Because how can others believe in you if you don't believe in yourself? And to fully love yourself and make healthy choices that are in alignment with what your values and vision are for your life. Yeah, and sometimes you need to write down what your values and vision are absolutely. to know what those choices need to be. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Clarity is important. Yeah, yeah. Sherry Fink, um, how can those that want to reach out to you, website? I uh, know Amazon.com has these books. Yes. You can find me at www.sherryfink.com mm -hmm. and on Facebook at facebook.com slash sherryfinkfan. So if you need, you need to get a hold of Sherry for any reason, for inspiration, for the books, um, any kind of event, um, go, to, go to her web address and get it. And I, I want to say you're a true entrepreneur, leaving a comfortable job and doing something and really making it happen. And that's what this country is all about. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Ladies and gentlemen, Sherry Fink, an inspirational speaker, number one best-selling author, uh, and new book coming out, uh, which will be out, Cake in Bed? February 2nd. February 2nd. Look for it on Amazon.com. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed this edition of Out of the Rough. We'll be right back. Bye-bye.